Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at doing some more um, modeling of fuselage and making the carbon fiber toe inside of it to give the fuselage more strength. But first, this video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for rapid prototyping from 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, electronic PC board design and manufacturing. PCBWA has globally competitive prices and to get an instant quote for your project, sign up for an account and drag and drop your file. You will get an instant quote and two to three days you will get a firm quote. For your 3D printing needs or other rapid prototyping needs, check out PCBWay.com. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm gonna do somewhat of a, um, you know, a makeshift fuselage. Let's see here, turn on the origin here. I'm gonna use um, form. And I'm gonna put this on the front plane. Drag this out. Uh, let's go ahead and use this here. Then I'm going to delete the four front squares and the back ones. Okay, now, many ways of doing this. This is just one way I'm going to show you guys here. Now, what I can do finish this sketch here. And I'm going to make this a solid body. So I go to surface here and patch this and the front. And then stitch these together. Now this gives me a solid body. I'm going to shell this out. And I want the walls here to be one millimeter thick. So, um, one millimeter. Click OK. We've got that. Now I'm going to create a sketch on this plane here. Use an offset. And one millimeter is good. And go and click OK. And finish sketch. Use an extrude this and pull this all the way through. And click OK. Now here's our make um, shift fuselage here. Now I'm going to create a sketch on this face here. Create a sketch this and I'm going to project this line here and click OK now I'm going to use line tool and just do a little box here Just go ahead and make it two. Go ahead and make this two as well. Let's 
snap this here and there. Finish sketch. And we have that. And now I'm going to extrude this and make this a um, new body. Now when I pull this back, it'll probably go red, but nope. And pull this all the way back. And leave this as a separate body. So a new body and click OK. Next, I want to create a sketch on this plane here. Again, this is just one way of doing this. There are many. Make this a negative 0.2. Go to point three and click OK. Finish sketch. Use our extrude again. Now you're going to extrude this. Pull this all the way through. And we have that inside of there now. Now this is um, one body, there's two bodies here. But um, as you can see, um, two bodies. And I'm leaving them separate right now because I want to pattern this go around inside of here. So if um, you want to put another one up here on the top and the side and down here, but um, Okay, so what we're going to do here is use um, just a mirror for this. We don't need to um, do much. So come down here, mirror, and I want to mirror this body here. And the mirror plane is going to be this, and click OK. Now we have these three here. And now I'm going to just combine all these. So um, click Combine. This is the target body. And these are tool bodies here. And we don't need to keep them. Well, in case you want to put another one somewhere, you might want to keep it. But um, for now, I won't keep it. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. Now this is all one body, one solid body. Now, your fuselage, it'll have the, you know, different shapes. It may go around and curves and stuff like that. And um, you may have to use um, a different tool like um, shell. Let's say, um, let's do something here again. Create a sketch on this plane here. Let's say, let's see, I'm going to use a fit point spline here. Your body, um, let's say it curves around like this. So now, um, let's say this curved around like this, we would draw a curve inside like this. And then um, let's say we're going to use a pipe command for this. And we want this here like this. Now, let's say we use a pipe inside of there because um, 
the fuse curved, or you could use a square. It's, it depends on what you want to use um, for this. Now, this is inside your fuselage, and your fuselage, let's say, goes around through here as well. Let's see here. Um, I turn the sketches back on. Do another sketch here on the same plane. Now, I want to project this. And then I'm going to extrude that, use a thin extrude, extrude this up and make this two sides or symmetric is fine and make this a new body. Now, let's say this is the side of the fuselage here and we have the, um, the tube here going inside of there like that. Now what you do is you come up here to shell and you want to shell this out. And let's just say one millimeter. Click OK. Then create a sketch on this plane here. Use an offset. And we want this to be one millimeter, so negative one millimeter. And click OK. And go ahead and finish sketch. Same thing on the other side, create a sketch on this plane. Use an offset of one, negative one millimeter. Then finish sketch. Now what we do is just use an extrude, select this, and just move this in, click OK, extrude this one here, move it in, click OK. Now we have our pipe in there. Then we can combine these two. And now this is all one solid piece also. So now um, you can put your carbon um, fiber toe through here and pull it through and then let's say you have a um, fuselage just a little longer here then you would just glue the, t um, the front and back together. So um, you'd glue this together and then um, make sure these line up properly and then you'll be able to pull your carbon fiber toe through here. But this was a demonstration up here of showing you if the fuselage curves, which is really no problem either. But that's it. So um, we talked about the wing pulling the carbon fiber toe through it. Now here's the fuselage pulling it through. So these are just a couple examples how to do this with the fuselage. And it's not difficult. And um, you can do this, you know, wherever you want this around here in the fuselage um, running lengthwise. And it will give the fuselage a lot of strength and it's not going to add much weight to it because carbon fiber toe is extremely light. And then um, what you do, you just soak your 
carbon fiber tow and epoxy. And um, you want to use enough tow that, um, so it's going to fill. Well, I mean, when you pull this through here, it's going to touch all around here and stuff. I mean, it doesn't have to be, you know, where it's crammed in there or anything like that. It just needs to be able enough in there. So if it does spread out, it's going to touch all out through here and give this a lot of strength as that goes through there. But yeah, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video. And if you like my videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you, um, again, if you like the videos, hit that like button as well. And I also invite you to join my Facebook group and my Patreon group, both called Cat Bill Fly RC. Become a paid uh, Patreon member over there and you'll get everything um, um, that I show you guys how to model. You'll get all the files for that over there on the site. And also check out my video on my um, contest coming up, um, 10,000 subscribers. So when I hit that 10,000 subscriber mark, I'm giving, giving away a DA35, a um, 3D Connection, CAD mouse, and Polymakers filament. So um, go over there, have a look at the video, and explain um, the rules for that and stuff like that. And yeah, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Subscribe for more.